moving on now. Social movements in Honduras say they will turn up the pressure over corruption. Now, this after the National Congress voted against a plebiscite on setting up an international commission to investigate the scandals involving senior government figures. Our correspondent Gerardo Torres now with the latest from Tegucigalpa. The so-called outrage movement in Honduras that for the last two months has been protesting with torches in the street demanding an end to corruption showed their discontent with the National Congress decision that stopped the process of plebiscite that would allow external investigation on corruption cases of the current government. It is sad that the National Congress doesn't answer to the people. We have been protesting in the streets of Tegucigalpa and in 50 different cities in the country. Today, 66 lawmakers that I would say work for organized crime and corruption voted against the proposal of a plebiscite that would create an international anti-impunity commission. The protest movement will hit the streets again on Friday and said that they will continue to put pressure on the government. We have to move on to the next stage. That means all the social movements must increase their participation and pressure. We need to stand up for the problems that we see in our country, the problems of the campesinos, the indigenous peoples, the students. This is the right moment to act. It's the time to speak up and put more pressure on this government that came to be as a result of fraud. The Honduran government has been very clear that they won't allow investigation in the corruption cases. It will now depend on social pressure to bring an end to impunity in the country. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.